Hello everyone. Um, happy Thursday and um, and happy December. Welcome to December. Uh, my name is Dr. Candida and I am a naturopathic doctor as well as an intuitive healer. So uh, I can't believe we're in December, but here we are full on into the holiday season. And so for this month, for the first four Thursdays of the month, I'm going to be talking about some different themes uh, to get through the holidays. And then on the fifth one, I'm thinking about going live on YouTube. I've never done it before. So comment below. What time? What would you want me to do live? Do you want me to pull cards? Do you want me to uh, talk about New Year's resolution? Do you want me to do mini readings? Like what, what sounds fun? Um, yeah, comment below. Let me know how you feel, what, what you're interested in. Uh, so for today's, today we're going to talk about when you're alone during the holidays and whether you're alone because your family's uh, far away and you can't get to them or maybe you're alone because um, you're estranged from your loved ones or you just had a breakup or or maybe you just don't really have anybody in your life right now you just don't feel super connected and close to anybody to share the holidays with um, I just wanted to give some tips and some ideas and some advice and I'm also going to share a couple of um, flower essences that I think might be really nice to take uh, or to incorporate um, to, to help you through. Uh, the first thing that I want to suggest is um, doing a little soul searching. You know, I think when we're alone for whatever reason, um, there are so many different feelings that can come up with that. So I think putting a timeline on indulging those parts of ourselves, you know, self-parenting those parts of ourselves, consoling those parts of ourselves, allowing those parts of ourselves to have a voice, right? Like I'm pissed, I feel jealous, I feel forsaken, I feel forgotten, I feel unworthy, I'm disappointed, I'm brokenhearted, I'm, I feel lost, I feel unlovable. Um, whatever is coming up for you, I think that it's really important to give yourself a time period and explore those feelings and let those feelings come out. Because the more that we ignore them or the more that we overindulge in them, we're just feeding fuel to a fire. So let them have a say and put a time cap on it, half an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, whatever, journal, meditate, do emotional freedom technique. I'll, I'll put some links below that I think might be helpful. Um, that's the first thing that I wanted to say. The second thing is, is don't overindulge them, right? Because then we can get sucked into it. We can drown in those feelings. We can get lost in those feelings. We can get stuck in those feelings. So um, put a time cap on it and then plan for something else. Uh, you know, I think some really great things that you could do is to organize like something you've always wanted to do. Like I want to learn how to make bath bombs or I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar or maybe I've always wanted to learn how to knit or make beautiful cupcakes, you know, decorate beautiful cupcakes or Christmas cookies or something. Um, uh, that, gosh, I think that that would be, I think that that is such a good way to utilize your aloneness, doing the soul searching and then doing something really creative that you've always wanted to do, right? Then taking those two things, right? You've had your alone time, you've gotten your, you know, you've got yourself a little bit more centered, you're doing something new and creative and fun, and then you're taking those beautiful gifts and you're offering them into the community. So maybe you donate those beautiful cupcakes to um, a, a holiday bake sale, or maybe you take those bath bombs and you um, donate them to a holiday craft fair, or maybe you bring them to work and share them with all of your colleagues with a happy Merry Christmas holidays, happy holidays note or something, card or something that you make. Maybe you make some beautiful cards. Um, maybe you bring them to hospice, to a hospice place. Uh, maybe you, um, or maybe you share, like you offer like a service to somebody, like um, a neighbor that needs help with their yard or uh, shoveling snow to an elderly person. Or, you know, there's so many different things that you could do that are creative and, um, and can get you out of your head and get you into the community and you're offering, you're offering with your heart. I think that those are two really great things that you could do. Um, the third thing that I would say is um, visualize, and you're doing this kind of already with the soul searching and learning a new craft and getting onto the community, but the, like I would, I would think about where you wanna be 
for the next holiday season. Who do you, what kind of a person do you want to be with? Who, what, what do you, what kind of activities do you want to do? Like starting to have that relationship, starting to be that person within yourself as you're doing that soul searching, as you're learning new things or reconnecting with an old craft or skill or art that you love doing. Um, I just think that those those three those three things are such great information to send out into the universe that you're healing, you're exploring, and you want something different. You want a change. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. You're perfect. You are worthy. I don't need to meet you in person to know that. I know that. But do you know it? And what's more is can you open your heart and show that to the world? Um, I, gosh, I think you can. I don't think you would be looking for this video and have gotten this far into it if you, if you, uh, if you didn't know it somewhere. So that's the advice. I hope it helps. Please like comment below and let me know how you feel about it. Um, tell me where you're at. What would you love to do? Uh, what would you love to learn how to do? What would you love to share? How will you do it? Um, how are you going to self-care? Um, the other thing, um, I do think that flower, the flower essences, those are, it's a beautiful uh, little tincture bottle. Um, it's energy medicine. Um, I've talked about it on this channel a lot. Um, but the one that comes to mind is Star of Bethlehem. There's a really beautiful way of feeling present in your body, present in the earth, and present like with spirit, with universal love, with God, with higher self, with spirit, with universe, with the heavens. There's, there's a, that flower essence is so uh, settling and you can never feel alone because you have you. Um, so I would take a couple of drops in your water, drink them throughout the day, or you could diffuse them or add them to a bath, or you could rub them on your belly or your heart or quiet your mind with them. Just some ways to utilize them. The other one, if you're struggling with feeling jealous, forsaken, forgotten, angry, if that's another part of it, um, holly, ironically, holly during the holiday seasons um, is really good for that. So give that one a try also. Uh, so utilize your aloneness, you know, you healing, you doing that exploration, you making those changes, you, uh, doing that self care, that self love, boy, that's a beautiful message that you're sending out into the earth. Um, and, uh, it's, it's a beautiful gift to give to yourself and others. So, um, yeah, utilizing, I, I guess I like that the best, utilizing your aloneness. Um, I think that that's a really good way to end this. So thank you for spending time with me. And um, I hope that this helped. Um, please take a moment to like, subscribe, share, turn on the notification bell, comment below. And, um, and uh, we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Um, sending lots of love. All right. Have a peaceful day.